of us have written about comparisons for you and younger kids. Are there comparisons? Yeah, there's some similarities there. I mean, um, you know, Nico was, uh, he was kind of a blessing for me that year uh, to have a young guy come in and play center and have that youthful speed and, um, you know, that transition game that, that Nico was really good at. That was great for me. Uh, we worked well together, obviously, had a, a really successful season, and so did our team. Um, kind of mirrors the expectations that that Jersey team had before the season. You know, a lot of people had written us off, but we ended up making the playoffs and had a really good season. And I'm not saying that we're going to do that here, but there is a, a real opportunity to springboard this, you know, quote unquote rebuild with a, a really solid season. And that season, we had a lot of young guys come in and play well and play big roles. And I think that, you know, that gave that put them in a good spot for their careers, and I think we're we're hoping to do, to do the same thing here. Obviously, you haven't played the game with Connor yet, but is there anything about his game, particularly in the offensive zone, that you think might free you up, you know, the way you two might complement each other? Um, I mean, him being a right-handed center is always nice. You know, there's not that many of them in, in the NHL, especially as a lefty for me. In the offensive zone, um, him, he can kind of take the you know the right hash. He can take one timers from there. He can collect pucks in the corner a lot easier on his forehand. And then you know me and whoever else is is on that line. If that's the way it shakes out, you know that we have the other corner, and he can stay free for one timers and and slot shots. And obviously there's there's so many different things that go into it. But as we go along here and play exhibition games and ultimately the regular season, that's where that chemistry really comes in. Um, face-off plays, how you like to crisscross in the new, neutral zone before a rush. There's a lot of things that I think if I am playing with them through the, through, through the regular season, we can chat about, and, and um, it, it'll become second nature hopefully really soon. What are your first impressions of skating with Ryan Donato today and getting to know him on the ice? Yeah, I skated with him a couple times before camp. He's got some really nifty hands. Um, he makes plays around the net. He can skate well, obviously. Um, so, I think that's a guy you're kind of looking at. He could have a you know pretty big season um, with the role. You know, if he if he can get into a nice role and a nice rhythm, um, he's someone that can kind of pop off the page and, and have a, a good year for himself. I know it's early going for you, but working on all that sprinting and more burst of speed in the offseason, have you felt the difference in your game? Yeah, but everyone feels good in training camp. So, you know, I don't want to be that guy that's like, I'm in the best shape of my career. But yeah, I feel good. And, um, you know, I know I'm 31 and it's, I think this is year 14 for me, but I feel good, man. Like, you know, I, I feel like I have a lot of game left and I, I want to play for as long as possible. I'm not just, you know, riding into the sunset by any means. I work on all that stuff in the summer and I have, hard conversations with people because I want to play this game for a long time and I, I really think I can um, I can hopefully find a nice home here. How was your adjustment to Chicago Ben with the, the baby coming in a few weeks? Is yeah. Some prep for that? Yeah, it's a lot. I mean to I think just my wife's been incredible, you know, dealing with switching doctors and we had we we were actually selling our house in Toronto during the trade and then we had to figure out what to do with our house in Boston, and then we had to get a place here, switch doctors, all that stuff. So she's been great. We're, um, we're loving Chicago. Um, the area that we're in is, is night. We're in Lincoln Park. It's beautiful. Walk to Wrigley, and I don't know. It's, it's been a really good transition. I think the team's made it um, super easy, and, and just the opportunity for me um, you know, to come in here and, and have a bigger role than I had last year. I'm really excited for that. And um, I've always loved playing at the United Center. I've had a lot of good games there. And I've always loved Chicago as a city um, coming here on the road. So it's been, um, it's been a cool city for us to explore and, and to get to know. Uh, I'm, I'm actually a Blue Jays fan. And that's fine because they're in, they're in the other league. So the only time. <laughs> but I did go to a game and I bought a Cubs jersey. So I only have two baseball jerseys, um, Jays and Cubs. So I don't know. There, it'll be nice. I, I, it was pleasant surprise to see them in the playoffs. So hopefully, I can go to a game here soon. And the playoffs is always fun. Did you buy it? Did I buy the jersey? Yeah, I bought the jersey. Yeah. 
I, I bought the jersey. <laughs> no, no, I just, I got, they gave us tickets and we walked in there a little bit early and I saw a jersey. I wanted to get the real thing. I didn't get one with the name on the back. I wanted the real logo and everything. So I have no problem paying for something like that. If the tickets are free, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I, it's, I've been asked like all these. I, I'm just looking back. Like I played with so many. I played with Jack Hughes, um, Nico, Nuge, Yakupov, McDavid. So like I've had all these questions before, and it's you don't go up to a guy and be like, "Hey, this is what I like." You just kind of have natural, you know, conversations as the year goes on, and it's a lot different than when I came in. It was 2010. There was no Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. You could, you weren't getting highlights on your phone like. You know, 10 minutes after they happen, it was you're still watching Sports Center at night and you're still getting the stories just like it used to be. Um, I think the expectations and the, and the hype is a little bit different for him. I think it's important for him to, when he leaves the rink, to get away from hockey. He's, you know, to find something to do to take his mind off it. It's, it's a long year and um, you can't just think about hockey all the time, especially as you, as you get later on in your career. You have to leave the game at the rink. That way, when you come back to it, it feels more fresh in your brain. So those are all things that I've learned as I've played. And um, it's not just me you can rely on as, you know, Corey Perry, Felino. There's a lot of guys in the room that have played some big games, Jonesy, that um, ultimately he can rely on. You know, we're always there for him. Uh, we want to see him do well because it's going to help our team. That's the biggest thing, right? Is, um, it's not just him either. Like Reichel's a, a really important player for our team. There's a lot of young guys, not just Connor, that it's important to help everyone out. How'd you get the uh, puck in chicken? Just today. Yeah, yeah, I got a puck there. Welcome back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, one last thing about uh, Felino. You know, a lot of guys have been talking about him already. It seems like he's, uh, uh, you know, had a, you know, an effect on the locker room, a lot of influence. You know him. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, Fliggy's, um he's the real deal. Uh, he's been a captain. He's seen a lot. I think he's been through a lot, you know, personally, in his own life. He's He's got basically a, a story or something to say to you with every, anything that you go to him with. And, and it's not just young guys that, you know, he talks to. I've had good conversations with him. Um, he's really someone that, you know, I know you've heard it, but a really good person, but very genuine. Um, some sometimes guys that are like the loud guys, they can kind of be like, it's a bit for show. Like he's not for show. He's the real deal, and he's going to be great for our locker room. He's great for me. Like you know, I'm only two or three years uh, younger than him, but I still look up to him as a role model and and a guy that, uh, like I said, just really provides a, a really solid foundation for for our dressing room. Yeah, he yeah he's kind of stopped by the end because it was pretty bad. He's usually the uh, he's the most vocal one on the on the group chat. He's always the one like putting uh, memes in there and, and everything, just like any other dad would be. I think he's good. He's he's a cool dad. He's a dad, but he's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Um, I, I I don't have one off the top of my head. But. Uh, if I remember one, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah.